Hi guys, so now once we compile the saucy, we are going to put it all together and uh, create the C++ program that is connected with the Postgres database and the saucy. Um, so we can start by creating a new project in the Visual Studio. So I click a new project. I will call it the uh, saucy underscore postgres uh, underscore visual studio 2015 and I can just put it into a downloads visual studio 2015 as you can see this is already a, a project that I created for a test before I started with this so make a make a new folder here call it test2 for this recording select folder ok and now I create a new item call it main app and let's go and connect it all together so I'm just gonna copy code that I already got from internet uh, and I customize it for my database so what you get from internet is this this is the saucy documentation so let's grab this code I'm going to show you what is going to happen. I'm just going to paste it in straight. And as you can see, if I save this, I'm missing these libraries and it won't saucy and Oracle, but because I'm using it with the Postgres, I changed uh, the Oracle to Postgres. So I'm gonna copy this and put a Postgres there. So that was the change that I needed to do. I just deleted this for now. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste entire new main that I created for the Postgres and I'm gonna run you through it. So what this I is doing, it's giving me errors because it's missing all the header files. So I have to put them all into my solution and link it all together. So I'm going to go through this. It'll take some time, but uh, at the end it will work. So I'm going to go and uh, open the file in Explorer and as you can see there is nothing so I have to start by getting some dependencies dependencies in so as you can see I made this dependencies folder here so I'm going to grab it I'm going to actually start from scratch so let's create the dependencies folder here New folder and call it dependencies. I'm going to open it and it will need, as you can see, Postgres and associate dependencies. So I'm going to create new folder. One is called Postgres and a second is called Saucy. Um, so, and in Postgres, I have DLL includes and libs. So as I'm going to create, I'm just going to copy this into this and I'm going to show you how to get there and I'm going to copy the saucy as well, make it a bit faster. So DLLs include and libs here, copy. So what I'm going to do now is go to Postgre and you will need DLLs. So where do you, where do you find all these DLLs in Postgre? So <coughs> you go to your computer and go where you installed your Postgres database. So I have it in a C program files and you can see Postgres SQL 9.3 and you need all the DLLs, all this. So we go to bin and there is all of your DLLs that are just copy and pasted from there to my project. Now I need all the includes as you can see all the header files where are there there are in include folder in your Postgres 9.5 includes and you can see all the header files all there and now where are all my libraries if I go to my lib in my Postgres SQL there is all my libraries here I already have it sorted by type because I was already doing it before so I just click on the type and it's sorted and it just gave me all the libraries that I will need now where can I find all this for a saucy so as I was mentioned in the video number one, if I go back to my downloads, 
that is my saucy that I extracted and I downloaded. And this is all my header files in here. And again, I clicked on the type. All my header files for a saucy, as you can see, there are there are same header files here and here. Now, where are my DLLs? As you saw in the video too, when we made that project working, I have this version of a saucy that I compiled with a CMake. And I went in here and I grabbed all my uh, DLLs from my bin dbook. And there is all my DLLs. Now, as you can see, I have a release as well, which is empty. So because I'm uh, doing this and uh, debugging this version of my uh, C++ with the database, I'm using these DLLs, which were from a dbook. But you can also compile it in release mode and uh, get a uh, release uh, DLL. So what what will you need to do is just go into your folder, open a saucy that you did in the video number two. And as you can see, all build is here and uh, all of the builds are here. So I will need to go from dbook to release and I, I will need to build, I will need to clean the solution. And I will need to build a solution again. So I'm not going to do it, but you can do it if you need the release. Um, now, what I need next is my lips. And where are the lips? Again, I go here, I go lips in my dbook. There is all my lips that I need. I copy and paste them into my uh, dependencies, saucy lips. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, now, after I've done all of this, I have my dependencies and I have my projects. So I can close this. I can go back to my project. And as you can see, this is still not happy. So I'm going to go to properties of my project, go to directories, and I need to include and I need libraries. So I need to include directories. So I need to go edit this and I need to find the path to my dependencies. Postgre, uh, what, which one was this one? These ones are, I include, so I need includes, so I need to go, my dependencies, Postgre includes, select folder, okay, and also I need to go to my uh, dependencies, saucy includes, select folder, okay, and now I need to do the same for the libraries, so I need to go to my dependencies, Postgre libs select folder, okay, and I need to go to my dependencies saucy libs and then select this folder for libraries. So I apply this, I hit OK, and as you can see, this is happy now. What if I try to compile this? What is going to happen? So I'm going to show you. There were build errors. And as you can see, I have unresolved externals. What is happening is that you need to go into your properties again. Go into your linkage and in my... Uh, additional include directories, I'm pretty sure. Just give me a second. Just open this. Okay, sorry, it's saying linker. In linker and input, you're missing all these libraries as your additional dependencies. So you need to edit this. And as I have my o other project here, I can just use this instead of typing it all in. So I'm going to go here, edit this. And as you can see, you, you have to type this libsaucy core, empty Postgres, saucy, saucy empty, saucy Postgres, and libpq, that is for a Postgres. So I'm going to just grab them all and I'm going to paste them here and press OK, press apply, press OK. Now you have an input, so the linker should stop complaining. So now I try to build this again, Let's try to run this. And as you can see, it's missing libpq DLL. Why is this giving you this error is because what you need to do is go to your, uh, sorry, go to your project, open it in the file explorer 
And as you can see, you have a debug here, and it's missing all these DLLs that we have in our dependencies. So again, I just grab it from my other project that I already have them, or actually I show you. So you have to go to dependencies, get this, get all these DLLs, copy them, and paste them into debug. And also you need to do the same for uh, Saucy, get all these DLLs and uh, paste them into debug. That's the debug DLLs. You would have a release, you use the release DLLs. Now, after I've done that, let's try to compile this again. Uh, I must have put it into wrong place. So, properties, open file, debug. No, there are in a debug. Copy. Um, let's just paste them here for now, if that's uh, that's what is happening here. Um, if it's that's why it is not happy. So all my DLLs are there, so is this happy now? Yes, so uh, one of these locations, it's just looking for the dynamic libraries in your location of the Project. So now if I press enter, what is happening here, I'm going to go through all the possible errors you can get so you know what is happening. So if I open my PG admin that is that comes with the Postgres SQL, what I did was I have this, as you log in first time, it will ask you for a password also, but I already have the password stored on my pa uh, computer. And what I did was I created a new database here and I call that GameDB. So what is happening here? is that I'm uh, dropping table customers, creating new table, and I'm populating it. Now, if you start a new database, you don't need to drop table. You just need to create all, as you probably know, all the SQL statements you can use. This is with the saucy. You create this session and uh, with the Postgres, and you have a DB name. That's my game DB that I just created here, as you can see, my game DB. And then you have the user. I just kept the user as a Postgres, but you can create probably a different users. And then you have a password. This password is the password that you use for uh, uh, when you were installing your installing your database. So you can change into any change it to a anything you want, like let's say your name or something. But look what happens if I do that here. Uh, I try to run this with a different password, and it gives me error. You see, password authentication fail for user Postgres. So it gives you, uh, it catches your errors, but it doesn't catches all errors. So, for example, if I have a problem in a user, I just run through a few of them. But you can you can try different different errors. This one says that for Postgres that there was no user, so it's just authentication fail. What if happened if I made a mistake in like a table? And it says that uh, oh my god, at least you see that I'm a bit slow here, password was wrong. At least you see like small errors that you can do when you're working with it. Yeah, user Postgre shows you that user is not there. And now what happen if I make a mistake in a table? Yeah, it just gives you abort, as you can see. That is because this goes straight into database, so this I this will happen. That it doesn't give you like explanation why. Oh, I'm trying to create table. Sorry, I'm trying to create table that I already created. At least you see that, uh, that errors like that can occur. Now it's giving me error because there is a uh, it, it is not null and it's a primary key you see and it gives you error straight so I cannot have the same ID so I just run this again with ID one oh and it's on name and as you can see error always change this real fast run this and now it's happy so if I look at my database let's say. Uh, that I just created. If you open your PG admin, you can open your game DB, you can open your schema, you can open the public, you can go to your tables. I have a few tables there already, but this is the tables that I just created. Create table customers with customer ID that is not null, customer name, customer password, and the primary key is on a customer name. So 
that's why I was getting these errors. Um, so if I go here, uh, right click and view data, view all my rows, and as you can see, you can have a nice. Uh, this PG admin gives you like a, a view of your database, and you can manu you can type it even here if you want. Like let's say number two, give it some name, uh, and you have to fill them all. It just gives you error straight and you can see you can see you can add them in here manually or you can add them in your in your code um, so it's automatically connected to my DB you don't even need to have this uh, running it will automatically connect um, so what else is there that could stop you um, most of the time you just make a mistake in your insert statements or uh, select statements there is a documentation on a saucy website how you can use this so I think I went over everything that you need to do and how to integrate uh, saucy with the Postgres and uh, C++ so thank you for watching goodbye